So two stars from both sides, this one, kick. So you got this side. I feel, yeah, maybe Black made a small direction of play mistake because the bottom side is wider than the right side at this moment. And Black probably can't expect that you will answer. Like playing here would be probably a bit too solid at this moment. So it's good that you got at the bottom. And Black played here. Which is a bit strange, I think, because if you would play at C8, I think Black doesn't have a good answer. Because if Black plays here, Black doesn't have a base on the left side, and you can always fix the corner like this. I would be a bit unhappy here as Black. So if Black wants to invade the left side, I think Black should play like this. Because like this, Black creates a clear MI of two space jumps. Right, so this would be fine, or black can directly absorb approach here, or some sun invasion, of course. So these are moves which I would prefer for black, but uh, this is a bit strange, I think. I didn't want to play at c8 because I thought that was too greedy and would invite us invasion at San San. Okay, yeah, that actually makes sense. That makes sense, but uh, we can we should also consider that if you make some kind of influence like this, for example. Then we can also see that uh, D10 is getting a bit weak itself, right? Because now the stone is lonely and it, 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 it needs quite a good target for attacking, I think. So that's why I think if you make an influence like this, you, you have definitely some space to use it. And I don't think uh, I don't think it's a bad result. I can understand your concern about the Sansan invasion, but I think even if you allow it, it's fine. And if you want to prevent that, then how about play here? Because like this black... Can, black can only do like this, but that's not, nothing special, I think. Because now you can just switch somewhere else and this would be a good Fuseki for you, I think. So if you wanted to prevent the Sansa invasion, then if you play here, then D10 is also in a strange position. Like how to, how to pincer D10 and also fix the corner. So you play this one and then here and Black played Atari. Well, this is a possibility this is a possibility in case you are pincered like this because normally i recommended you just to just block the corner right but actually playing here is a possibility as well because like this you are let's say trying to push black here and then you can counter attack this way for example but when black is so far i don't think uh, f16 is so effective and when you play here probably you wanted black to play like this and then and attack this way Right, like this is what you were probably planning. It was a good plan, but Black probably found it. So Black played Atari. Black could also just go down, but this would be a happiness for you as well, I think, because this is just a good exchange. And you connect it. Well, if you would take the stone, and Black takes the stone as well, and giving the Ponuki is probably not so nice. So playing here is fine. And so Black connected and you took the stone. Anyway, it's kind of an exchange, which is not bad for you. So quite an interesting combination how to fix the corner. So Black played here. You played this one. I would probably play the, at the fourth line because I feel like if you play on the third line, then the bottom side territory is in, in a low position. So I would probably prefer the, the, the fourth line. But anyway, it's not a big difference. Mm -hmm. So this one... Well, I probably wouldn't go down here directly, like uh, because there are bigger moves on the board. Like C2 is really big, but after you make this exchange, then uh, your group is quite fixed. You also have uh, K3, uh, so, so you can just switch somewhere else, I think. And if Black takes the stone, then it's not small, but you can sacrifice the corner in quite a good way. You get a solid influence on the outside, and you also keep center. So I think uh, just Tenuki at this moment is good enough. So then Black, this one. Well, in this case, if Black plays here, then it's a clear mistake. Because now, of course, you would directly strike at Sansan. And also, uh, I think Black wouldn't have a good choice how to, how to use the, the eventual influence. So here, I think Black may play it correctly. And you invade it anyway. Okay. So you play, so black play it here, why you play it, Hane? Well, if black would play from this side, then I think you live this way in the corner. So this is a Joseki which we have already learned before. So this would be, of course, great because uh, black's influence is uh, reduced from both sides and also R7 is really over-concentrated. 
So this would be perfect. So black has to block from this side. And if you would just extend, which is usually normal, then probably in this case, black would just try to enclose you. If black would defend the corner, then this would be great because now R7 is weak but black would probably try to enclose you this way. So uh, I can understand here that you decided to play here. And how about play black plays this one? Because this is, uh, this is a move which I'm not sure how you would answer at this moment. Because if you play Atari here and then Atari here, then if black goes down, I don't think you can separate black at this moment because this would be a very strong counterattack from Black's point of view. So you would, you would probably have to play here, and I'm not sure if this reduction is successful. Like, you get some influence for sure, but Black still keeps the corner, and there is still a cutting point at Q9. So I'm not sure if this is good enough. So that, uh, so that uh, kind, of, kind of makes me to ask a, qu a question, if actually this, Invasion is not early. It's not too early. Like maybe you can still play some big move somewhere else. Like you can play this jump, for example, which makes your potential bigger and the black smaller. Or you might also play a shoulder hit here or here. So this would be also possibilities how to reduce the bottom right quadrant. But I feel like that maybe the invasion is a bit too early. But after black extends here, then actually you get a possibility how to separate black. Like this is a, this is a possibility as well. And if black plays here, then you can start a core. And you definitely have some core threats for that. Like you have this one, which is a great core threat, I think. Because then you would get this. And black's top right corner collapsed. And if black would answer, then I don't think black has an effective core threat. Because you, have, you are quite solid everywhere. And if you win the core in the bottom right, then black kind of explodes there. Because the groups are separated. So like black stones are kind of falling apart there. So black simply can't afford to lose the core here. So black decided to play here. And you lift in the corner. I think you should play the Atari first. This would be better. But not a big difference. At least you lift and that's definitely good. Maybe you could actually make uh, this exchange first because that means that after this move, there could be a cutting point at P7. On the other hand, if Black plays the Atari, now the cutting point doesn't exist because if you play here, then Black can catch you in a getta this way. So the cutting point basically doesn't exist. So this exchange, which looks like a bad one, it would be actually quite good here, I think. So this would be a comfortable life for you. But, it, but the result you got in the game is fine as well. Black invaded here. That probably means that Black doesn't feel comfortable on points. No wonder, because I feel like that uh, the Fuseki is probably slightly better for white. So I'm not surprised that Black decided to invade. And you replied with Kosumi. And you decided to take black like this. Yeah, that looks effective. That looks effective because I don't see a possibility how black can actually find a clear sequence how to live. So if black plays this one and you extend, yeah, now it seems like that black doesn't have so many chances. Like black maybe can play here. So that means you would probably cut. So maybe black can get some compensation by capturing the corner. But I'm not sure if the compensation is good enough because your shape on the outside gets extremely solid and the influence is really big. So I'm not sure if this is, this is a good compensation. On the other hand, you don't have any other choice than playing here because if you play here, then black will make a good shape and then jump out and, you, and we have a problem. So you cannot let black to separate you. So I think this was the strongest resistance you could play. So this was definitely fine. And black didn't find a good way how to play there. So black just decided to fix the corner like this. And you fixed yourself as well. In this case, maybe this honey would be fine as well because you connect your groups. This one is a bit slack, I would say, but not a big mistake for sure. Black came back here. And you decided to separate black here. Well, black stones around are quite strong. So I'm not sure if it's actually valuable to separate black here. First of all, black is strong and you are also strong as well in the top left. And this move also doesn't uh, create any territory. So what to do instead? Like you have few possibilities. I'm actually thinking that you might even actually play here just to fix all the edges there. Or you can play this one. 
probably this is the strongest move on the board because like this you can uh, reduce black at the top side with the, the with the shoulder hit and you can expand your potential on the right side so probably if you do something like this this would be perfect or if black plays here you will continue with jumping so i think uh, the, i think this shoulder hit is probably the strongest move on the board but black answered yeah, I mean, at this moment, I would probably expect Black to play somewhere around here because I feel like this area is really important for both sides. So Black played here. And you decided to reduce this way. Well, it's not a bad idea, but I think uh, you should try to keep center because if you play like this, Black still gets to play here. So the, the reduction didn't succeed. But if you would play here and force Black to connect and then play this one, then it's much better because uh, maybe you made black a bit too solid at the top, but anyway, it was black's territory. And like this, I think it would be a successful reduction for you because you can also get a lot of influence uh, in the top right quadrant. So, so first, you actually had a fine idea, but you have to keep centered to have the possibility to play around here. That's really important for both sides because it's exactly at the border of two structures. So this uh, actually, like Black lost something at the bottom side, but I feel like uh, Black uh, repaired a loss here. Repaired the loss from the bottom side here. So the, like, the game is probably quite close at the moment. This is usually a big move. And black expands at the top, so you play a shoulder hit. Why not? Of course, just normally after a shoulder hit, well, it's not always like that, but normally we play like this because we want to escape as fast as possible. And if black plays the wedge, you play Atari and black connects. You can also connect like this because age 12 stone already did its job. So you can uh, sacrifice it in a very nice way, I think. And if you lose it, it's not a big problem. So I think you should play the one space jump that's a bit faster because like this, Black has the possibility to, to try to separate you. But it looks a bit too much from Black because you are quite strong at the bottom. So you don't have it so far to reach to your stones at the bottom. So I think Black should probably try to fix the rest of the territory. So this turn, this one... And Black really tries hard to separate you here, actually. Very nice shape here. And you anyway came back. Actually, like this, you are already kind of light. And if you don't have to, if you don't want to come back, probably this one was better. But I feel like that you, your shape is good enough at this moment. I think it's not necessary to come back here. Like there are some cutting points, but you might actually even think, think about to enter Black's top side, maybe like this and here. And you can still keep the good shape. It's very unlikely that you will die in the center, I think. There, but there can be actually another problem. Like if Black uh, gets some strong stones around here, Black might actually activate some edges at the bottom here. So this is something what I'm a bit concerned about. So you lift here. And here you, here you could definitely live in a better way. You can first of all try to connect under like this, or maybe not only try, it actually works. Or the, the other yeah. possibility is to play here because G4, G4 is much worse on points because this not only makes white, your territory bigger, but it also play, makes Black's corner smaller. So this is very important. So Black connects here. You come back with your stone. Black peeps. This is a very nice move because it's uh, protecting the peep at R11 and also it connects under. So it's nice. And this is actually, we are approaching kind of the decisive moment of the game. Because now it feels like that you are definitely not doing bad on points. Like, uh, I might probably still prefer white, I guess. Like, it actually depends a lot how much your groups on the right side will be attacked or your group in the center, how much it will be attacked. But uh, black can actually try some edges here at the bottom. So let's see how you manage to fix them. And this is actually may probably the main problem. Why did you lose the game? Because this is actually a very important moment where you need to spend quite a lot of time to read what happens here. So let's take a look what can happen here. Because Black is clearly trying to live at the bottom, but I think it's not possible. Because if you block from this side, this cross cut is not working because you can directly just play like this and Black is dead at the bottom. So cross cut is not working. Black can come back and then you need to fix the cutting point, of course. And can Black find a way to live at the bottom? I'm still not sure. Because if Black tries something like this, Black doesn't have big enough base. Or if Black play, plays here, you can just kill Black like this. It seems like your shape should be strong enough to be able to kill. So Black might also try to run out 
this way, for example. So there can be some cutting point here, but I feel like you should have much more liberties on the outside than Black has inside. So I guess if you would play from the outside and try to resist, then it would be hard for Black to find the sequence how to live inside. Because if Black wouldn't live inside, then Black will most likely lose the game. So this was actually probably the decisive moment, because until this, this point, you're, you actually did only some very small mistakes. I think the game was at least even up to this moment. But here is the moment when it starts to go downhill. Because uh, if you play like this and Black can play here, now actually on, uh, most of your bottom side territory turns out to be Black. And you lost too many points here. And here, here is the moment when Black turns around the game. In this kind of peaceful game, which is very close on territory, then one mistake like this can cause you a game. That can definitely happen. So, and in this case, when you are very solid everywhere and black is super solid everywhere, it's very hard to find a place where to catch up from this point on. Anyway, let's take a look if you had some more chances. I think you had, because black did some mistakes, but here is definitely a place where you lost the biggest amount of points. What's actually quite interesting, you could, you could still come back in this shape. So, and the black has to play here and you, and you could actually catch the black's two stones this way. But it would be already of some loss because now Black can play this Atari, Black can also play this Atari, then come back in this area or more like here. And Black got a lot of territory, which we didn't expect. And you also lost some territory at the bottom. So even this would be a big gain for Black. After this happened, Black reinforced here. I actually don't understand why Black didn't play Atari, but never mind, not a big difference. Then you play this and you are going up to Black's territory. That's a good choice, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here I feel like that you don't have to add a stone here around because uh, your group is already 100% alive. Uh, but Black Sea is still trying to separate you because it's not necessary to connect living groups. And on the other hand, the opponent shouldn't try to cut living groups. So actually, the last two moves didn't give any points to, to, to none of you. This is unfortunately not working anymore because now Black can actually connect under because Black already added a stone here at M2. So here Black could connect under. But uh, when I was suggesting this one, then uh, Black cannot connect under so easily because there is a cutting point at L2. So that Black added a stone there, it made some difference. So this happened. Block peep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at this moment, it would, it would be slightly better to connect. I know we, we are learning that it's usually good to clean up the stone from the board. But in this case, when you are so strong, you can think more about points. So connecting would be slightly better. Mm -hmm. So seems like this will be quite a long Michael and game because there is still quite some to play for since it was mostly a positional game. This moment this is not so big because like it surrounds only like one maximum two points. Instead if you play here then this is definitely much bigger because this surrounds these two and kind of also this one and this one because if black gets to play there first black will most likely get all of those moves around. Yeah, but seems like at this moment there is no way back. As I said, in this kind of game, one mistake can actually matter a lot because there is no place where to come back since black is so solid and all of the territories are fixed for both sides. So there is no no way where to come back. Yeah, I also tried something at the top side, but it probably didn't work. But so the final result was 24 and half. And yeah, I really feel like that most of the difference was made at the bottom. When the situation was like this, then I think you are definitely not behind at this moment. So because Black has like probably 35 points at the, at the top, then some 15, like 15 points on the left, so 50, 10 points at the bottom, so maybe like 60 Black has in total. And you have, yeah, I think you should have around 55 on the board and Komi. So probably the, the score will be quite similar. So uh, if Black wouldn't succeed with the edges at the bottom, then most likely this would be a long end game and the game would definitely finish with this single digit difference.
for one of the sides. But this was definitely the most important place. So like uh, you have to try to capture everything because if you go just here, then you will lose the game almost immediately. Even though the, it's not that huge loss, let's say it's not like your group die or something like that. In this kind of game, every detail matters. And this was definitely a decisive moment. So, yeah, since you did only this one huge mistake, I can understand that you didn't understand the result much because you were really doing very well for during uh, most of the game and the game was at least even. Also in the end game, you did kind of well as far as I saw. So uh, this was like, dum -dum, this was definitely the place where you lost the biggest part of the final difference, I think. So do you understand the reason of your loss a bit more now. I was concerned that if I played it L2, then black would cross cut and then there would be a double Atari. Aha, you were be you basically were imagining this one, right? Aha, uh -huh, I see. Yes. Okay, now I understand. Yeah, if you if, if you correct from the top side, yeah, it seems like that bl black cannot do much. Like, I don't see anything what Black could do. And there was also another possibility. You could actually play this Atari first from the top and then play here. And now there is, even in theory, there is no double Atari possible anymore. So this was another possibility how to fix how to fix this. So I think after this, Hane Black would have to try to live inside. We would have to show some very precise reading there. But as, we, as, as far as we have searched inside your territory, I couldn't find a way how Black should correctly live. So probably Black would have to hope that you make a mistake. Then if you would spend some time there, I believe that you would manage to kill Black there. And if Black dies there, not only you protect your, your territory, but Black actually donated really a lot of points there. And most likely if Black's attempt here fails, actually Black might also lose the game here at one place. Because it's same as on your side, uh, it's same for the, the opponent's side. Like uh, if uh, in such a game, one big mistake matters. So if Black plays this and tries to live inside and fails, yeah, it can be easily game over almost immediately. So yeah, so it's a pity. I think at the, I think at this uh, up to this moment you had uh, you had uh, a pretty pretty good chance to win, and you know it, it was definitely one of the best games I have ever seen from you. That's that's for sure.